Hi there, it's Damien from Anton. If you're thinking about a new analyzer or a replacement or an upgrade, um, I want to talk to you about the new Pro and all of the features that we've done with this that I think hopefully will be interesting to you. So talking when we're developing this product, all the feedback from engineers was we want a reliable product. You want a unit you can buy and use and it won't let you down. Obviously you need to send it off once a year for service, but outside of that, you just need it to work. So nearly all of the design features we were trying to build into this was about making it reliable and robust. So we looked at all the things that could go wrong with it and we've, we've focused on that. I mean, first of all, the unit, you get it in your hands, you can feel it's a tough unit. It's made from motorcycle crash helmet material, a thing called polycarbonate. It's really tough and strong. And then you've got this nice grippy boot over the top. Um, things like we've improved the magnet strength. So it sits on the boiler. Um, it's not going to fall off of that nice and strongly. Um, and basically, yeah, everything about it is about robustness. When we looked at the stats, the main thing that things were coming back to us for repairs between servicing was due to water ingress, water damage. So we've done a huge amount of work on making this as reliable as possible and protecting it from water getting in it. Um, a big part of that is around the new, the new filtration system. So first thing we've got is a nice clicking connector with this new probe. So it's a nice secure fit, um, doesn't drop off. You also get a nice airtight seal into the instrument, click and release. Um, this is where the water condense is collected. Um, unlike the old one, we've now got a nice big knurled nut on here, which gives it a lot more strength than the old bayonet fitting system we had, but it still allows you to get inside here and really dry it out. The main thing is we in here we've got two water stop filters that water cannot get past and we've also got a sponge filter now that can be dried and um, easily reused. There is a video that talks all about this description below um, or it's in our it links to the, in the description below so go and have a look at that and it, it's a demonstration where we actually suck water into it and um, I think that will explain it better than I will here. Um, the other thing that we um, know was causing problems for engineers in the field and slowing them down on the job was high CO and we, we, you all get it um, you put the probe in and it shoots off the scale so that the air gas ratio is not set up right. We use high quality CO sensors in this, flue gas specific CO sensors. They can take an over range of, I think they're, they're a 10,000 ppm measurable range and they'll take up to 20, 30,000 or more and recover but they will take a few hours sometimes to recover from that. So we've built into the software as soon as it hits 5,000 ppm it shuts the pump, it doesn't pull high levels of CO across the sensor. And what that means is, and I've seen this with my own eyes in, in um, training centers and what have you, where we've demonstrated it, it will stall it at 5,000, even if it's 30, 40,000 PPM that's trying to pull across it, it doesn't damage the sensor, it doesn't um, need any recovery. You can pull it out, it will come up with a nice big warning on the screen, stalls the pump, you pull it out, you purge it, and you're up and running again in two or three minutes rather than waiting hours. Um, so you don't have to stall before you can get onto the next job. And we know all these changes have worked because we've not had a single unit returned in 15 months now of manufacturing and selling this product with water damage, um, which is obviously a massive improvement. And um, we think the biggest reason why Sprint Pro is, is uh, certainly our best unit out there and um, you know, uh, the best unit in the market. Okay, other things. So, nice high contrast colour screen, much easier to see in dark places. Those warnings I talked about, nice and bright, really help you, um, you know, spot if something, uh, bring your attention to something. Um, USB charger, so um, again, another reason that people might struggle or, or have a problem with their analyzer, they, they broke a USB cable, an old charger. Um, the old bespoke Anton chargers were £20, you know, you can get a USB cable from the internet or from your local supermarket if you needed to in a hurry. Um, you know, it's another way not slowing you down. A lot of engineers are now finding their plug-in, they're, in, you know, they're carrying a, a power pack for their phone or whatever, you can use that to charge if you're desperate on site or something and you're low on battery. Um, so that's a nice thing. We've got complete upgradability with this instrument. Provided you've got a Pro 2 um, or above, you can upgrade any of those features. So if later down the line, say NOx became mandatory in the industry and you had to take an NO or a NOx reading at an annual service, if you've got a Pro 2 and above, no problem, we can fit the NO sensor and upgrade it um, to a higher spec model so that you don't have to throw this one in the bin and start again with a new instrument. Similarly, if you do commercial catering, you want to add a CO2 sensor, 
um, then again, we can upgrade to Pro 2 and above to add that feature. Um, so also, if you've got a Pro 2, you want to get, add the Bluetooth at a later date, no problem, we can upgrade it to a Pro 3 at time of service. Um, talking of the Bluetooth side of things, the new instrument is a dual Bluetooth chip, so it talks to both Apple and Android. Um, the older models that we did, the Pros, uh, sorry, the Vs and the Evos only spoke to Android. This talks to iOS as well. And we've now got the free Sprint Mobile app available for both formats. It's available on the um, App Store and for iOS and the Google Play Store for Android. Um, that's a big advantage. You tend to change your phone every couple of years. If you do switch from one to the other, you can still use this instrument with either device. And, and lots more third-party software companies are now getting involved with Bluetooth. And you know, at the touch of a button here, you can send your recording straight into Gas Engineer software or Comusoft or whoever you might be using. Um, what else we got? So you can also go and um, easily switch between Bluetooth mode and the printer. So we are a very fast printer. If your customers, some customers want printers and some want Bluetooth and, and send your reports across electronically, you can easily switch between the two modes. Um, the last thing I want to just touch on is we've got a new gas leak detector for um, Sprint Pro. It uses a different connector to the old instrument, but that and a couple of other changes to it, it's just as sensitive, just as effective, um, but it does now use a third of the battery consumption versus the V and the, e, um, the Evo gas detection probe. So again, just help manage your battery and that sort of thing. If that, that sounds interesting to you, you want to get in touch, you want to talk about your requirements more, Go on our website, go to the contacts page, find your local sales manager and uh, we're happy to help. Thanks very much.